Well, I think I have found something that's going to replace my traditional Ned Rig fishing. Now, we probably most of us have caught a ton of fish on Ned Rigs in the past, but there's definitely some downsides to this particular setup. Because of the exposed hook, or even if you've got that really small weed guard on a Ned Rig, it's easy to get it stuck. It can hang up on vegetation pretty easy. And a lot of us really don't want to throw it into wood cover of any you know thickness or, or a lot of brushy stuff because it gets stuck so easily well this particular setup fixes that problem well what is it well i first saw it on z-man social media i think a week or two ago and i believe they called it the jig rig uh, if they called it something else you can go ahead and uh, correct me in the comments down below but i'm pretty sure that's what it was essentially saltwater anglers that target rockfish use this. So you've got this hook and it can be anywhere from a number one, two or three, a one aught, two aught or three aught. And then it also has this nice swivel on here and it's got this other ring down here as well. And on this ring, you can attach a clip weight. And I really like the clip weights because it allows me to adjust my rate of fall without retying everything. So that is a huge benefit and an added benefit. It looks very similar to a Jika rig, okay? except this has got the swivel on there but it's a downsized version of it and the real plus the real benefit when I was out fishing it the other day is it comes through cover so nicely it does have a quicker fall rate because it falls very straight okay a lot of our jig heads for a ned rig are flatter a little bit wider and they might have a little bit of a spiral to them or a slower fall this drops pretty quick which could be a benefit in clearer water but then watching it come through cover is what really sold me there's this one channel i was fishing that just had wood from side to side and all littered across the bottom you could just see it here all over the bottom well traditionally this would be a spot that a regular ned jig head and like i said even one with those small weed guards is probably going to struggle and not be that efficient for us you can watch it come over this stick here so effortlessly it just pulls right to it up and over and down drops nice and straight and at that point i was like wow i am sold now this is not a texas rig it's not a flipping jig where you're going to put really thick into brush and wrestle out a big fish you know out of that cover this is still a finesse technique and i had 10 pound uh fluorocarbon for my leader here so if i put it way back in that stuff and got a big bite not guaranteed I'm going to get it out there. So I was focusing on the travel highways, those edges, whenever I could find them. And every time I came across those treetops or those ends of those uh, brush piles, it just worked through there so nicely, never got stuck once. Well, did it catch fish? On this particular super cold day where the water was 41 degrees, I was able to catch three dinks pretty quickly, but I have no doubt it's going to account for some quality fish for me throughout this season and especially into the warmer months. If you're interested in this particular setup, I have all the information linked down below. But what's the downside? It costs more than your traditional Ned Rig setup. Your hooks come in a four pack and they're gonna start right around that $5, which isn't terrible, but it's more than those Ned Jig heads. And then the clip on weights, depending on the size of the weight, they are either gonna come in a three pack or a four pack. And some of the real heavy ones might just have a single weight in there. And they're in a range of anywhere from seven to $11. And that's before you put your soft plastic on there. Now, is it crazy expensive? Well, in today, Today's world, no, but it definitely is something that if you're trying to watch your budget and watch the money that you're spending, it is more than your traditional Ned Rig jig heads. And hey, if you see this and you're like, I don't know, I think I'm going to stick with my regular Ned Rig presentation. Well, here's a video that talks about the back half of that presentation. The second part of it, I think you might find it interesting. You can go ahead and check it out right here. And make sure you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life forever. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.